right, guys. Ian Anderson, Corey Merle, such goes to this golf. We got the Music City Open brought to you guys by Dynamic Discs. And look at that lead card, Corey. Dude, we got a stellar bunch of boys here on this lead card. James Conrad, the homie, Matt Orem, the Ronald Jinkies of disc golf, Zach Melton, Mountain Bob Ross, and the Tennessee, and really just the whole Southern region legend, Chris Dickerson. Wow, that was good, dude. I like that one. Tell us about hole one, man. <laughs> uh, we are starting off with an island hole, 395 feet. Uh, really, it's out of character with the rest of the course, as this is a super technical wooded course, but really just... Pick your poison. Are you going to go for it off the tee, or are you just going to lay it up, take your easy three? It uh, looks like James is going for it, Corey. Maybe? Yeah. That was an extremely aggressive bid that is unfortunately going to fall out of bounds, but we saw a few people um, before the lead card teed off getting it with a spike hyzer, um, but really? only a couple in the entire field were able to actually stick that island green. So honestly, kind of surprising to see James go up the gut and, and get that aggressive there. Yeah, it looks like Matt Orem just laid up. and looks like Zach is going for the layup play as well here. Um, oh, golly, that's that invisible curb that isn't there, but somehow just wow. knocked him out of bounds. That's some baloney. That is brutal. Chris looks to also be laying up. This is just a crazy way to start your day, Corey. No, <laughs> I know, right? Like yeah. right, off, right off the bat, two or four, go. Yeah, <laughs> have fun with that. Uh, here is Matt's second shot. Cool. Yeah, he's that's picture perfect. I mean, just throw the layup, nice touchy putter to get up there, take your three, and, and no damage done in the first hole. Uh huh. Chris Dickerson, solid upshot. Stoked to have him on camera, Corey. He, he I, tears it up like in the south. He doesn't get on camera a ton, I feel like, but he is so good. I was just going to say, he doesn't get on tour that much really either. Yeah. Um, you know, I know he kind of still feels like it's a travel costs compared to benefits situation, but I'll tell you what, there is no one better in the southeastern region. Oh, man, he just dominates down there. Uh, that was, I believe, James laying up for the four, as is Zach. Um, I don't know about a layup, but yeah. it's up. It's there. Uh, James coming back for his four. Nice. Good putt. Good cleanup. Mm -hmm. These are the old Prodigy baskets, too. Kind of the We saw the newer version out at... Um, Utah Open this year, and we'll see him again for our third round out at Ravenwood. Um, but nice. these are the older, the little bit wider hanging chains, um, uh -huh. and a little bit heavier grade, I think. Okay. Man, I love Matt Orm's putt. It is so wild. Dude, it's so funny. I, I was talking to a few folks that we were uh, staying with this weekend, and they're like, oh, you're feeling Matt Orm? You ready to have him just be on a phone call the entire time? <laughs> it <laughs> cracks me up. Dude. What? What's he really? No, just because the way he throws, it's next to his ear the entire oh. time. Watch him this round. <laughs> really? Oh, that's it's hilarious. hilarious. I, th I thought he was Hollywood out there. That'd be funny. <laughs> Calling the girl between holes or something. Yeah, taking meetings. No biggie. Yep, yep. Couple pokes, couple pars. We're on to hole two. Yeah, 725-foot par four. Um, yet again, another open hole before we get really into this nasty wooded section. Um, this one, that road is going to play OB left and beyond. So like on the road and, and beyond left. Uh -huh. um, and the woods on the right are something to keep your mind on. If you turn over a right hand backhand, you could fall uh, into some pretty precarious spots. Really, if you can just center the thing up, land in the good landing zone, throw it up there, you should be getting a three on this one. Right on. Uh, Matt Orem going right, Corey. Yeah, he is not taking my advice, and he is deep within the woods. Ooh. That's a natural OB right, actual OB left. <laughs> the, the classic combo, Ian. It is. Chris Dickerson. Oh. He's, eh? I think he, he's, he's exposed enough to have some sort of line at the basket, but obviously not where you want to be. Yeah. What's this one from James right here? Besides that going is OB. the not so turned over Thunderbird, unfortunately. Oh no, he was going for some big D there. Yeah, he's got such good command on those straightforward force over Annie's. It's kind of surprising to see him go OB OB to start like this. Mm-hmm. Gotta say, this almost plays for the lefty. He doesn't have to throw a flex, which is you know less touchy. Oh, totally. You're not going to quite get that big time distance, but it just plays right away from the danger, which is you know obviously what you're looking for. Yep. Conrad pumping one on his third. Wow. Lee, that thing is smashed. That was a good five bills uphill, man. The, he got, got no distance off the tee. Yeah, he got like half of his drive. Had to go back. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my. Matt yeah. there? Yeah. Oh. I okay. mean, pretty good. Pretty good yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Mr. Melton. This golf's Bob Ross. I know, dude. He looks like a like a if Bob Ross lived in the woods of West Virginia for like several years. <laughs> De decent up, a little bit long, and we got Chris from the woods with his second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, is gonna be out of bounds. Got a pretty favorable spot though, so he is gonna be at least within jump putt range. Okay. But it's for a five though, or it's for yeah. his four. You know, probably looking at a five. Sure. Ah, uh, great up by Mayo right there. Maddie O oh, doing work and Chris, here's that jump putt. Man, they call him the robot and it just makes so much sense. I've honestly never seen anyone more dedicated to their routine. Oh really? Ooh. Good hit from James. Yeah, James another one. I hit him and James both. Uh Chris Dickerson say. and James. Yeah, they both are so committed to those pre putt routines. And and the pre throw routines, really. It's Mm -hmm. It's remarkable, just every single time. That's so important. Mm -hmm. Oh, Melton with a good hit right there. That's a bird getting a, a stroke on the card, I believe. Yeah, I'm looking at two on Chris. That's right. As Chris will come in and clean up his five. Yeah, these uh, these guys did play Cedar Hill in round one that we did not film. Um, kind of everybody on different cards jockeying for position, so no real true feature card. Mm -hmm. um, but my second cameraman, Harper Thompson, a young 14-year-old slayer out here in this region, um, him and his dad did film round one uh, Chris Dickerson's card. So that'll oh, cool. be out on his uh, disc golf channel. I believe it's like Hunter Thompson Disc Golf. Uh, no, excuse me, Harper Thompson Disc Golf. Um, I'll, I'll make sure to get it, uh, the official thing, and, and link it in the... Uh, in the next vid beautiful check that out guys mm -hmm. all right hole three par four we're in the woods i like it Oof. so this is the start of really the next 15 16 holes in a row um, where we're going to get this style of golf beautiful. Um, par four 595 feet off the tee you're going to look for something to work left to right um, but really objective number one is to make the gap uh, that you're just right in front of your face okay. from there it's a little bit uphill and again is going to play left to right so if you've got a flick flick works, um, if you can go turn over and really have it coast up the hill, you can set yourself up for maybe a mid range or a putter, but it's really just make the gap and react. Zach does make the gap. Yeah, yeah a little bit low right side um, in the, on the upside of that valley. Uh -huh. Matty O. Man, I feel like MJ should be at this tournament. It's he is in this enough. tournament. Is he is he? Okay, tournament. good. All right. Yes, he is not. Unfor he's unfortunately not playing. Oh no, no, no! You know what? You know what? What? I take that back. He is at the Titan Open this weekend. Uh, all right. He Maybe was signed up for both, and I uh -huh. think half the, half that like touring pro field went to the Des Moines Challenge and Titan Open. Half the field went to the Charlie Vetner and this one. Oh, uh, gotcha. Uh, Chris is leaking left. See if he can recover here. Man, this, this course is going to test your scramble. It absolutely is. These guys all vying for their Waffle House sponsorships of the weekend. Mm hmm. That's that's good from Chris. I don't think that's going to birdie, though. Certainly not going to birdie, but from that drive, if, I mean, you're eyeballing a four at absolute best. Oh, for sure. Uh, James gets most of the way out. We're looking at his third now. Oh, man, tight gap here. It, good Lord. If you're going back to that destroyer on your second <laughs> approach in three holes, it's something has gone awry. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, finish is pretty much up there, just a little bit to the right. And Matt uh, finds a tree. Easy to do. Very easy to do. There are lots of trees out here, and it's a good combination of, like, the thin, nasty, like, Waco-style brush, and then mm -hmm. the really true, like, W.R. Jackson giant trees in the fairway. Yep. Chris's up shot. That will four. Man, that that's a demoralizing par for him to get for the rest of the card. I'll tell you that yeah. right now. Because his drive was so terrible, straight into the trees. And these guys are not looking like they're going to get any strokes on them here. No, I don't think so. I mean, that second shot, to, you know, was as good as that drive was bad. True. Conrad? Oh, man. 
I thought he had it working watch from that earlier hole. I know, he, I know. He is he's visibly frustrated at this point. He just can't really get that command off the tee right now. Yeah. Man, but when he gets it working, there aren't there aren't many better. This is very true. Uh, Zach misses his putt, does not miss the comebacker, thankfully. James is actually now, I believe, all but one putter away from fully transitioning to the James Conrad Glow Pro JK AVRs. Nice, nice. That greenie is the last standing hope in the fully beat in ones that he used to throw. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. It's so sweet, though. That's like, that putter's unreal. Oh, man. He throws it so well, too. Mm -hmm. Such buttery lines. A uh, bunch of drop ins there. Most of those were for par. In fact, yep, all of them except for James, who had the bogey there. Um, we, got a, we got a tight card here. Yeah, really one stroke separating, uh, or two strokes separating all three of them. And, yeah. and the whole field in general is tight. There was, I believe, like five strokes separating the top 10 or 12 guys. So it was a lot of clumped up at and ties for scores. Nice. Uh, we're looking at hole four now. Yeah, 306 feet. It kind of has a gentle downslope the entire way and then gets a bit more aggressive once we get to the pin. Um, you see this downed log. If you can kind of kind of rest something up against that backside, you're going to have a good old-fashioned like 25-foot death putt, but mm -hmm. not a bad play. Um, yeah. If you can get it to grace over, though, you are risking dropping all the way down and, and having a, a pretty tough comebacker. I can see that happening for sure. Uh, Zach Melton's drive looks like he's a little short, but he's looking at it. Okay. Let's see what he decides to do. Matt going to spin one over there. Oh, sit. It's oh, not come that's it. on. That's probably still a putt. Yeah, it's still a putt. He's inside the circle, but he is going to have some shrubbery to deal with. Chris? What do you think, M4? I'm thinking so. That thing gl glided, glowed, glided. <laughs> so straight there. <laughs> so straight. And Mr. Conrad. And the hair. Oh, God, that is just going to kick into the absolute abyss on that right side. Did it really? Oh, my goodness. And you can see the faintest hint of that oh, yeah. basket on the right side. You totally can, just next to that tree over there. Which one? There's a million. <laughs> and you're stupid. Uh, Conrad's upshot. No, he did it. He did. Hit the pole, dude. What on <laughs> earth just happened? The lines he throws with that AVR, man. <laughs> just stupid. Uh, Zach's second shot, pretty scary here. He he gave it a go though at least he kind of had to give it at least a half go because of that log. No, I know, right? There's not really a safe layup zone. Uh huh. Uh, Chris got a scary looking putt. Ooh, <sighs> nothing scary for the robot chicken. No, his putt is kind of the the jump putt mildly robotic. No, very much so. It's like yeah. I must step first, then I must throw disc <laughs> and bang it. It was perfect too. <laughs> Dead center. Oh, good putt, Matt. Dude, the fedora bandit himself. That was quality. Dude, the hat plays. That's like the Bear Bryant hat, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it, my it, God. It is, I, right? It really is. No, it really yeah. is. I, I think it has that, like, uh, I don't even know. what. There's some funny name for that crazy There is. I was too. trying to remember it, too. It's like not remember Hearthstone. Right now. It's something like... Yeah. Hem hemlock i don't even i can't remember but in the comments what that pattern is called please yeah somebody help us out oh a houndstooth houndstooth yes, yes. <laughs>we are back to the action gotta thank dd for getting us out here man they they totally made this possible for you i know and kind of late notice too i wasn't sure if i was going to be in the area turns out yeah. a lot of my friends and a lot of people i knew were coming down so hey may as well let's uh let's go film some disc golf you know yeah yeah shout out to rusco shout out to bobby brown and shout out to you for making this happen Corey. dig it absolutely dude hey and shout out to anthony and danny over there the unsung heroes in the media department at dd yeah, they're, they're fantastic. Love my boy, Tony. <laughs> All right, hole five. Where are we going, Corey? Yeah, back to the proper action. This is 277 feet um, of just pure Corey line. Uh, <laughs> flex flex sidearm, flex sidearm just uh, through and through. 
If if Matty O's throwing a flick, you know it's a flick hole. Yes, accurate. Although he has a pretty good one. That's true. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't shy away from it extremely hard. Uh, Dickerson has all the tools and he's showing them off. Sit. Don't Sit. you do that? This is he gonna roll behind the tree too for <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, into the gully, OB takes it away. Yeah, exactly. Melton. Solid hole for him. Get yeah, throw flex. I assume it's some sort of truth or something in that family. Yeah. Maybe a verdict, possibly. Could be. Yeah. And uh James. If he's going forehand, Corey. That's you know when you flick. know it's a flick hole, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's the that Johnny might... McRae law. It is <laughs> accurate. Decent looking up shot here from James. That should par, hopefully. Yeah, I opted to go with that Scorpius off the tee that Garrett Gerthy hooked him up with, like the most oh, nice. stable thing on the planet. Uh-huh. Uh, but I like that purple destroyer for his flicks. He seems to get a lot of good success with those ones. Nice. Uh, Matt gave it a bit, but he'll settle for par. Melton, a little too much want. Sit. Sit. Or roll right to the basket. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, whatever. You'll take that. And uh, Chris, for a stroke on the card. What's new? That's like that's his nickname, I think. Chris Stroke on the Card Dickerson. <laughs> that place. Yep. We didn't need Chris to step up his like his head, hat, hair game. You know, he's really being shown up by the rest of the card here. No, 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 no. For the sake of me creating these videos in a timely <laughs> fashion, no more wild hair. You want hats all day? Only hats. <laughs> Specifically fedoras and short hair. <laughs> fair enough, man, fair enough. <laughs> oh, man. That fro, though, is just... God, it's awesome. Unreal is what it is. It's, it, it looks like an hour in Photoshop is what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like I had to... It looks like that's truly half the size of the fro. <laughs> Someone has died on our tea pad, Corey. <laughs> Madison just taking a mid-round nap because it is so hot uh, and sticky out here. <laughs> Nice. What's the play on <laughs> play on hole six, Corey? Uh, the play is just get out of here with your par. Um, this has one of those untouable feels to it. It is a good, I don't know, maybe 200 feet to the neck of this what turn. The heck? And then another, I'm, I'm telling you, it feels like another 200 up there. It says 372, but I feel like that's as the crow flies, like yeah. literally straight line through the woods. There's just really no two line. It um, looks like a par four. No, exactly, and and it's going to play as a par four. Nobody's really going to have a chance at doing it. Uh, we were trying to figure out some lines to the basket when I was playing a practice around with James Conrad, and really the only line that we were able to find that had some sort of like progress up this hill, and you're going to see him play it, is the over-the-top line. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All these guys just playing placement shots to the landing zone um, and then just going to deal with a, a pretty techie up shot from there. Okay. You think James is going over the top here, huh? Wow. Okay. Yeah, something. And then he's going with the Nate Perkins Night Strike FD. Oh, okay. And so really just something that's going to dig into that right side. For him, it's pretty pretty controllable and pretty flippy. Um, uh -huh. for, for most mortal arms, it's going to be a nice, solid fairway driver. Okay. That was a great upshot from James. That'll par. Chris, looking for a three as well. Nothing wrong with that. Zach? Yeah, equally nothing wrong with that either. Yeah. And if uh, Matt can get up there clean, we'll be looking at a barbecue. Uh, not, not so clean. It did kick so that clean. tree. No. Yeah. Circle-ish range. Not gonna be uh, Chris for the three. Super solid as always. Does he live in Georgia? Where does he live? You know? He is a oh gosh, I'm almost confident that I'm gonna be wrong here. I feel like he's a Tennessee guy. Okay, I'll buy that. Yeah, and we're sticking with it. Mm -hmm. Chris, you're from Tennessee now. You weren't <laughs> before. 
good to know. And we are responsible for his new property tax. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get on that. <laughs> uh, Matt with the solo bogey there, uh, making this card even tighter. Bunch of sevens in that six from James. Some hot action here. I dig it. And yeah, probably, this probably muggy too. It, yes, I was just gonna say this is literally some hot action. It is so sweaty up in here, and this tee pad specifically is the hottest part in the course. We're teeing off of what James calls the official James Conrad signature tee pad. It's just a parking lot. <laughs> it's like a run up his fifty. Yeah, feet. it's like a hundred yards long. He's like, it's finally something that fits me. You see that squirrel on the drum, by the way? I did, dude. Wasn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Melton with the forehand. Oh, dude, just missed the corner there. Yeah, he just kicked that tree and is going to drop him into the the little uh, creek there. That isn't OB, but is a ways away from the basket. Gotcha. James sliding it up. That should putt. And Matt. It's kind of a, a tease to have it only be a 270-foot hole with a huge, huge... Uh, <laughs> run up from james dude exactly what i was saying it's like you better be throwing a destroyer right here yeah you need like a 700 foot hole when you got a t-pad like that melton for two that's gonna three yeah tough footing in that little little creek there unfortunately definitely chris disregards picking up the disc he'll get it later yeah you miss it once don't try to get it then you know <laughs> just, just come back and grab it later yep Good hit from James. He gets really good wrist action on his putts. Mm -hmm. It's it's really impressive. Like the legs are doing a lot of the work, but if you sit there and pay attention to what that wrist, like how much control he has and spin he puts on it, just from a little bit of a flick of the wrist, it's uh -huh. it's really impressive. I'll have to check that out. A uh, couple of drop ins there for par, I believe. Oh no, Matt with the with the, bird, the bird. Yeah, absolute park job. Yeah, well done. Uh, Zach loses a stroke to the car, but still one stroke separating everyone. Uh, we are on to hole eight. Yep, 240 feet. This is the second in this little string of three pretty easy holes that you are definitely uh, trying to go turkey on. This one, mm -hmm. just a nice little soft hyzer. If you throw it straight and have a touch of left finish, you're going to be sitting right next to the basket. Yeah, what, putter mid for all these guys? Exactly. Um, really, the only thing to be thinking about is this gap, maybe 30, 40 feet in front of you. Sure. Uh, Dickerson has the box. That's a great tree. Yeah, dude, that thing was coming in steam in a little bit. <laughs> That's not even a very big tree to hit either. We made it work. Conrad. Going to the JK well. Perfect. That'll bird. And Matt. Wow. Some, uh, some great shots so far. Yeah, I was saying everybody's expecting to birdie it. I didn't mean literally everyone not even have to hit a putt. Yeah, they're just hitting this gap perfectly. Wow. <laughs> and Zach one-ups everyone. <laughs> We had a bit of a gallery on this next uh, card as well, just kind of splitting the two. These guys were putting to our left, so uh, Zach and Chris are going to tap out right here. Okay, cool. Chris really <laughs> putting his full effort into it. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Left-handed even, too, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I was watching Chance versus Chumps yesterday, and Ricky totally putted left-handed from like 15 feet. Did you oh, notice to that? A couple times. Yeah. I didn't notice that we were playing the round. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially on like on the island hole, hole eleven. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Great putt by James. Looking at a star frame. I believe that's our first. Well done by the gang there. That looks like Chris and Matt leading the, the crew with those nine downs. Melton and Conrad hunting, and we're looking at hole nine. Yep. This is our ace run. Kind of like a hole 11 out at Idlewild, where yeah, yeah. It's, you're throwing like down over a valley. It's pretty short, but you can kind of just slam it into the backstop. Um, no real reason to fool around and try and get touchy or anything. Just really throw whatever you got that's going to go straight, or you could choose the right side gap and just throw something that's going to cut a little bit left. Uh, basically the same disc probably you just throw in that last one. Sure. Chris Dickerson throwing the mild hyzer. Go in. <sighs> 
2 I was hoping. I was hoping. <laughs> yep. James? Taking the inside line. Oh, my God. Gosh. Dude, so James said that how easy Chris just made it, throwing that right side, made him question his decision, but that inside line ace would have just been way, quote, doper. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not wrong. Uh, that looked like a nasty kick for Matt. It looks like a nasty good throw from Zach. Wow. Yeah, three right up there by the basket, and then Matt kind of pinched off with this really, really far from ideal look. Looks pretty obstructed. Yeah, I could tell it goes full hyzer there and goes long. He'll take a par. Oh, well, hopefully. He's coming back for it right now. Yeah, definitely hit that funky putting angle if you go a little bit too far in this one. Yeah, yeah, you're putting really, really far down. I kind of like those putts, though. You can kind of just, like, glide them in. Oh, 100%. Like, especially yeah. if it's, you know, 40 feet, 50 feet yeah. at this angle. You can just, like barely touch on them and they'll just flow right there so fun when you hit those uh good putts from james and chris zach will do the same Ooh, tried to miss it <laughs> he did a little high left but it stuck for him prodigy baskets doing work there and we got three birds and we got chris with the solo lead now yeah back from fourth place now on top 10 down he's got a stroke on the rest of the field yeah he's doing work i uh, hope you guys enjoyed part one make sure you come back to part two